What's going on everybody? This is Bronco Juggalo and today is day 9 of the Thanks Killing 10 Day Challenge created by Brother Peanut Butter. Today's movie is Splatterfest Films and I have decided to do the French film Inside. This is one of the films that was sent to me by Omnis and Esquire. Thank you once again, buddy, for that package. It was amazing. I absolutely appreciate it. And I thank you for your support of my channel and your continued devotion. This film was directed by Julian Mori and Alexandre Busio. It stars Beatrice Dale, or I may be Dally, I'm not sure, D-A-L-L-E, -L -L -E, as La Femme, or also The Killer. And it stars... Alison Paradis as Sarah, our victim. The synopsis of the film is that a pregnant widow is visited on Christmas Eve by a madwoman who wants her baby and will go so far as to cut it out of her to get it. This is an absolutely amazing film and it is brutal and bloody as hell. It comes from the Dimension Extreme line here in the U.S., and it is considered the crown jewel of the new extreme wave of French horror. Pros and cons, guys. I've only really got one con. And that is there is some CGI graphics and CGI used and some shots on the film. And it just doesn't look great. Not very good CGI. Uh, there's a, sp a part involving fire where one of the characters, I'm not going to go into who, gets burned with the fire. I'm going to try and keep this a little bit spoiler free for the most part. Just because I know there's still a lot of people out there that hasn't seen this movie. So if you haven't seen this movie, definitely check it out. It does have subtitles, but it also is done dubbed in English. So for however you enjoy the film, just go check it out. Yeah, as I said, there's some CGI shots that I just don't like. They don't aren't very good. Um... Not really too much in the gore section, but there is just a lot of CGI used. Now, there is some great gore in this, some great practical effects, and it looks amazing. So I'm going to start off my pros with that. From the opening credits, this film is just gory and bloody. And the opening credits, it's like somebody's like picking through intestines. And it's just absolutely gross, and I love every second of it. The second thing that I want to talk about is the cinematography. This uh, movie has a very weird color scheme for most of the film. It's at night, and it's done almost in like a reddish-brown sort of coloring to the whole film. And I think it's because the main character is a photographer... And it's almost like you're looking at it through a dark room lighting. And I thought that was weird. It did give it kind of a grainy look. And I think they were doing that on purpose. Personally, I didn't really like the grainy look. But I love how the film was lit. I love how it was shadowed. Uh, there's a great moment where she's just sitting on the couch. Or Sarah's sitting on the couch. And La Femme is behind her. And Sarah's on the phone. And La Femme just comes out of the shadows like this. And you can see her. And you can see... Her weapon, she holds scissors in her hand. That's her main weapon, is this huge pair of steel scissors. And you can just see it, and it reminded me so much of the original Halloween, where Michael is in that closet. And I thought that was just so cool, and that looked absolutely amazing. Uh, my third pro is blood, blood, and more blood. This is a spatter film. A spatter film, a splatter fest, whatever you want to call it. There is blood going everywhere. Blood-soaked trio material right here. Let me tell you. Big shout out to Sean and to Hillhound. Guys, that heater is just about to kick on with a vengeance, so I'm going to get going on this kind of quickly. I love how brutal this movie is. And I think it makes it even more brutal considering the fact that the killer is a woman. Uh, they ch actually changed the script because the original script had a man being the killer. And they thought, no, this would be so much better and so much more brutal if it was a woman. Because you just don't see that a lot. So they changed it up. It's a woman killer, and it is just so brutal. Uh, two absolute examples of brutality I'm going to give you, but I'm not going to explain their context. Uh, one I like to call the self-tracheotomy. 
And when you watch the movie, you'll get what I mean. And then the other one, and that's a big pro for me. I thought that was done really well. It looked really cool. The other one is the killer C-section. And I think you'll think that's pretty dope as well. Check it out. This movie just has blood pouring down everywhere. Awesome movie. Uh, great film, I thought, to do for this one. This film was actually recommended for me to review for Splatter Day by Horrific Nightmares JM. So, Jason, thank you very much for that. Uh, I've been meaning to get to this eventually anyways, and I'm glad you recommended it for this. It definitely fit the bill. Anyways, guys, this is Bronco Juggalo saying we only have one more day to go. Big shout out to Brother Peanut Butter, Horrific Nightmares JM, Dave Maggot, Horror Fan 34, and the Horror Man, all for doing this challenge. Also, right now, I have up a comic book tag. If any of you want to take part in that tag, please do so. Even though we may not have tagged you in the video, if you want to do it, please do so. I forgot to mention that in the video. I tagged certain people of my friends that I knew were comic book fans. Uh, some other friends were like, hey, why didn't you tag me? I, I just didn't really know you were that into comics, so... That's why I didn't, but if you are, you want to do the tag, it's an honor of Stan Lee, rest in peace, sir, do the tag. Um, that's pretty much it for right now, guys. Bronco Juggalo saying, peace. Rod is in this motherfucker. The holidays? Shit. That means 12 days of fuck you.